Hello everyone. So there was a question on the um, community today about uh, cl cloning an issue and also changing the status of the cloned issue in Jira. And this question is of course about automation and uh, there are a couple of elements here. So basically what uh, Dona is trying to understand is uh, let us say you clone an issue in Jira. The moment you clone an issue of course it will also create a link to that cloned issue and when the cloned issue is uh, let us say transitioned or it uh, is moved to a specific status then the original linked issue should also be transitioned so this can be done by the way and i believe uh, dona is uh, i hope i am pronouncing your name correctly but i hope uh, uh, you will forget you will forgive me but so you can as uh, dona is um, is talking about here you can clone the issue based on an action which is fine and working but uh, the challenge is to do something with the linked issue when something happens in the linked issue for example like a transition or a comment and uh, by, by the way i think i have covered this in uh, one of my video so let us see um, how it can be done so i'll probably open the i mean by the way i have already replied to the comment and if you basically look here what you need to do is you need to create a rule where you can say that when you want to trigger this, let us say when the linked issue is transitioned, you want to uh, run a branch rule like for linked issues and then do something with those branch branched issues. Maybe you want to transition the issue and when you're transitioning the issue, you can actually copy the status from the original issue that triggered this. So this is, this is actually very simple to achieve and uh, one thing that people don't really uh, realize that when you are working on the issue in Jira and when you clone the issue let, let us see let me just try to show you so if you are let us say looking at a bug and this bug needs to be cloned the clone functionality itself will uh, also create a link for you so when you click on the clone button clone option here you will uh, notice that within a couple of seconds um, okay so it will basically ask you do you want to also clone the attachment let us uh, click on the clone and uh, when you when you click on the uh, when you basically clone the issue and if, if you go to the cloned issue by the way you will see this uh, link that will take you back to the original uh, issue from where you cloned this and if you're doing it using automation you can also you can also make sure that this is this linking is part of i mean you you just make sure that you you have the link and as long as you have the link, you can use the automation rule that I just mentioned. And, and that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.